Samsung, I thought this was notable, it's right. So if you have not had a foldable yet, um, I've gotten into the foldable world a little bit as I've had, I think I've had every flip phone. I haven't had the fold, right? I haven't had the fold that opens up like a book. I've had the flip that opens up like a alligator mouth, basically. So Samsung, as you know, the displays and not my issue with them, I actually really, really like it. And I did not um, two years ago. I think last year is when they turned the curve to where it's a really good device that you can use as your as a daily phone. I thought before it was not. It was not suitable. Now they are. Um, but my only complaint, I did break one of them on, on accident, obviously. Not on the last day I could return it, I it broke the screen the, the screen is flimsy because the, the 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 display is not glass like on a regular phone the display is basically plastic and it breaks easy it just does these oled these oleds are very sensitive if they take a decent impact just a even a small hit it'll make a black blob on the screen like this check this out i don't know if you can see this my s23 ultra check this out You see my, where am I? You see my S23 Ultra right here? Do you see that black blob right there on the screen and then the lines that go, that go up and down right here and the black blob, Jesus, right there. So something fell on it. Now the glass did not break. There, my screen is not cracked. There is no break, but these OLED panels are very sensitive and if something just hits the OLED panel it'll create that black blob well that's why those foldables are so delicate and that's why if you get one I always encourage you to get insurance always don't ever buy a foldable without insurance because typically I don't buy insurance for my devices foldables it's a must Samsung's looking they're making some changes Samsung has just filed a trademark for the word or term quote unquote iron flex now what is iron flex iron flex is um basically and i believe they're going to patent this as well um iron flex is a stronger more durable display for foldables so they're not so delicate so that's one of the very few things remaining on these foldables to really push them to the next level is because there is still a crease when you open whether it's the fold or the flip there is still a crease where it folds so if they can eliminate that crease if they can make these screens more durable um, stronger which it looks like they're on the path um, and then if they will put flagship cameras sensors in these devices I think you'll have a home run hit um, that everyone can enjoy because there's some people that oh, they're cool but there's that crease in the screen when you open it up you can still see a little crease the cameras aren't on the same level as the s23 ultra right the samsung z flip 5 still has like i think i have like 12 megapixel cameras in the back you know like three or four year old sensors um they just you know there's just a couple of tweaks now this is the year you got uh this is what i'm this is what i'm estimating this year is the turnaround year this year is the year that they take the next step because if samsung make, gets this iron flex <clears throat> iron flex screen put in their foldables right which hopefully it eliminate, eliminates if not all the crease most of it we're going down that path right eventually we'll, we'll, we'll get to no crease but as long as they're improving it every year if they can make these screens stronger, more durable, which it looks like they're on the path of doing. And uh, I think I've said it uh, here uh, probably three three months ago, and I'll say it here again, uh, and you'll you will hear it here first. Um, Samsung is going to put flagship sensors, camera sensors, at least I know in the Z Flip Six. I would assume they're doing that for the Z Fold 6 because it's a more expensive, more premium 
um, but I know for sure the the Samsung Z Flip 6 is going to get flagship cameras. What does that mean? It means it's going to get the same cameras that, that are going to come on the S24, uh, Samsung Galaxy S24 will be in the Samsung Z Flip 6 because as I, as I mentioned, they, they have like 12 megapixel cameras in there that have been in there for like three years. They haven't changed the cameras and the quality sucks. I mean, I mean, this year they stepped it up, right? They tweaked it a little bit, but it's the same sensor. So it does, the Z Flip 5 does take better pictures than the Z Flip 4, but it's still not flagship level quality and you're paying a thousand dollars for this flip phone and they're still not putting flagship level sensors in these in the camera department but this is a year they turn it around so i'm expecting a huge year every year samsung increases the foldable sales and and that not just for samsung that goes industry-wide right look at the oneplus open it's gotten so many so many good reviews and more people are starting to yeah, let me try it this year a little more people oh, let me try it this year let me try one this year especially with samsung and their their unbeatable trade-in offers i think i got my z flip 5 for a hundred bucks literally um so i think this is the year that the their foldables take the next step and finally cap it off and make it a flagship experience with the flagship cameras but they did file trademark application for the term Iron Flex. It was filled by Samsung Display to the Korean Intellectual Property Rights Information Service on January the 3rd, just a few days ago, indicating a foldable OLED display panel associated with a foldable smartphone. Now, um, it says in the upcoming Z Fold 6, Got you. In the Z Flip 6. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, slated for a release this summer. Is there any more information on the technology of this new display? Since the launch of the first fold, concerns about the durability. Yep, I just went through that of these screens. Because I've had that happen with mine. Break very easily. Um, do we have any technical information? Let's see, I'm sorry, I didn't read this article before I... Normally, I'll do some homework before I go live, and I saw this at the last second, so I just threw this in here because I thought it was important. It is important. Um, it says, it remains unclear whether the Z Flip 6 and Fold 6 will debut with Iron... They're going to debut with Iron Flex screens. I can promise you that. Uh, I bet they do. They already have it out, and as I mentioned, they don't send... They test all this stuff internally, and, you know only proceed to go through if they really believe they can pass certifications and, and uh, trademarks and stuff like that. Um, let's see. I believe that is it. So there's some information on the trademark application and they'll have to trademark it, I'm assuming. I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to make that statement. Never mind. So, all right. So, um, Look, that is uh, all I got for y'all today as far as the news is concerned. I do uh, appreciate you joining me. Uh, we will do, I'm going to try to do this every day. Every day live stream, uh, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I'll just present to y'all with whatever, our, whatever news, leaks, or information I get. We'll throw them out there. Um, if there's any big news in the tech world, we'll discuss it. Um, eventually eventually here sh probably sometime in the in the um let's see uh, what would you say about the new ces launched schneiser momentum true wireless 4 really interested to know about your reaction should do more earbuds in reviews yes uh actually i'm glad you bring that up um i've gotten in contact with I'm not going to say the names, but let's see, one, two, three, three or four uh, earbud companies that are going to send me their earbuds for free, but in return for a fair and honest review, um, and that's what I plan on doing, all right? 
Uh, if they suck, I'm going to say they suck. Uh, if they're good, I'm going to say they're good. Um, they're not going to, I don't get paid for them. Not one cent at least. Um, well, each, 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 um, kind of like deal or, you know, is specific to that company. Right. So I'm not going to say any of that, but let me just say that we are going to be doing more earbud reviews. As I mentioned, I think we got three or four companies that weren't, that we've been in talks with, uh, negotiations with whatever you want to call it that are we have said yes we will do it and we're just trying to decide what models that they're gonna send us and stuff like that I love earbuds look I keep on I keep one in my ear 24 7 yes 24 well I'm not gonna say 24 7 but basically all, all day so I love earbuds and yes we will be doing a lot more but I'm not familiar with that name let me look it up Shn hang on let me see here what is it called the s e s e n n h e i s e r momentum 4 momentum true wireless 4 true wireless 4 let's see what they look like God damn, those are, wow. Woo-wee, those are expensive. Um, I've never heard of those, and I, I see why now. They're uh, a lot of money. So um, I'll reach out to them, honestly, now that you brought that to my attention, and thank you for doing that. Um, now that I have the name of the company, what I'll do is as soon as this live is over with and I'll do this periodically is just send out an email to their marketing team to their PR firm I mean to their PR department and I'll say hey I have a YouTube channel I'll send them a link to my channel and say I you know I'll, I'll be more than happy to um, do a fair and honest review uh, for sending me a product so um, I'll do that with them and see what they say. So we, uh, yes, we will be doing more earbud tests and, um, I'm going to be doing more stuff outside. I'm looking to include more better, um, video stuff. I'm going to have, well, there, we got a lot going on for 2024. I'm going to step up our video department as far as the way we record and do testing. Um, uh, and add more B roll and do, we're going to take the next level. Uh, take the next step in as far as the production and quality of reviews so yes i can promise you more earbud reviews here in the near future and i'll get you check back with me tomorrow uh, on our next live stream tomorrow and uh, i'll see i'll let you know if they've reached out and what they said but yeah i'll see if they want to send us something to review and uh i guess that's it right um i don't have any other tech stuff um, so here's what, here are the reviews I have lined up right now. I'm going to do a review of the Innocent portable AMOLED monitor. It's a 15.6 inch portable AMOLED monitor from Innocent. I'm going to review that. I'm going to review a Samsung K500 Bluetooth keyboard for specifically for Samsung DeX, but you can obviously use it for Windows or your phone or whatever. So I got that to review. I'm also going to review, I'm debating whether or not to review a, a couple of other items um, that are on the way. I'm looking around because I got stuff all over the place, but we got more reviews coming. Um, in fact, I'm going to record one here this afternoon that we'll release tomorrow. So we'll do this live stream um uh, try to do it every day from, at four o'clock central standard time but i'm also going to include a review of the keyboard and just post it during the day or a review of some earbuds and i'll post it during the day so you'll see me uploading reviews of certain tech items and then we'll also you can also come check in for the live stream as well so um yeah thank you for joining me and yes you can find us here tomorrow at the same time and uh, if anything changes check my our community tab but i'll let y'all know thank you for joining us this is taylor bell e sim oh i'm gonna i'm gonna get a new um giveaway i'm gonna set that up as well 
a new giveaway you have to be subscribed to our eSim studios youtube channel to win but i got cool stuff and i'm going to actually do that here this afternoon as well so please stay tuned to our community tab i usually post all that stuff in the community tab um of our youtube channel and uh you can enter to win uh your prize so thank you very much i appreciate the view as always and i will see you tomorrow peace out if you have any questions give me a holler give me a holler please hit me up in the comments i check them every day peace